Before we get into the case, please note that the majority of the information presented in this video comes from Daily NK, a South Korean-based news organization that reports on the various aspects of North Korean society. The organization obtains their information mainly from insiders within North Korea, and the validity of the information can't be verified. The serial killer in today's case, Park Myung Sik, was dubbed the organ harvester due to his tendencies to extract levers of his victim's bodies. Park was just an ordinary factory worker in Simpo, a coastal city bordering the Sea of Japan. He was described by his co-workers as a timid and shy guy. It would be inconceivable that he would go on to commit a series of 12 killings. For some years prior to the murders, Park suffered from liver cirrhosis, a deadly disease caused mainly from the overconsumption of alcohol. Knowing that his days are numbered, Park visited a famous doctor at large hospital in Hamhang. Yet, the subsequent treatment had no effect. Park continued to suffer from the pains of his illness, and as a last resort, one of his co-workers introduced a fortune teller to Park in hopes that a cure can be found for his illness. As religious practices are forbidden in the country, Park had to beg many times for the fortune teller to meet him in secret. The fortune teller, who eventually felt pity on him, met him in secret and the fortune telling commenced. Park was told that the only way to cure his illness was to consume human livers. Initially, Park was frightened of the prospect of having to kill and was unwilling to do so. He continued his life, as usual, still working in that worn-out factory of his and still suffering from the illness. However, as the day passed by, his condition grew worse and worse and the pain was more unbearable. Park decided that it would be better to kill than to suffer and die in agony. North Korea is a country with extremely strict laws and any murder will hardly go unnoticed. Hence, Park planned to target students working in communal farms in rural areas near Simpo. In rural areas, there isn't as much supervision so in the event that a body is found, there will not be as much investigations. Furthermore, these students are dispatched to these villages and hence, the locals are not familiar with these students. Any students disappearing will likely go unnoticed. Park usually targets his victims at night while everyone was asleep. On April 1990, his horror commenced. He went on to commit a series of 12 killings, of which 11 of the bodies had their livers extracted. As for the one body, things got a bit messy. On that occasion, Park broke into a dormitory at night and latched himself onto a sleeping 15-year-old girl. He put his hand over her mouth and started stabbing her with a kitchen knife until the victim succumbed to her injuries. He dragged the body across the dormitory to the exit, leaving a trail of blood from her bed to the exit. As he opened the dormitory doors and exited the building, he woke up the guard dogs who started barking at him, forcing him to start fleeing before other students are awakened. Due to police incompetence and the lack of necessary investigative technology, Park's horror persisted for six months. Throughout the horrifying six months, residents are reported to be hesitant about going out at night. The police even claim that this is a work of a ghost. Eventually, Park's horror will come to an end. One day in October 1990, Park spotted a student travelling to work at a communal farm and followed him. His would be 13th victim was sad. Once he noticed that there is no one nearby, he ran towards the student and pinned him down, attempting to choke him. However, as he was pinning the student down, his hand was hurt from the impact and he was unable to restrain the student who started screaming and fighting back forcefully. Residents nearby heard the scream and started moving towards the epicenter to figure out what was happening. 
Eventually, Park was forced to flee as vigilant citizens caught sight of his assault and began chasing him. The injured Park was unable to outrun his pursuers and he was finally caught. His six months of terror have ended. Park was brought to a police station and subsequently confessed to his crimes, spilling everything including what the fortune teller told him. The fortune teller was also arrested. Park was trialled in mid-October 1991 at the People's Court of Simple and was dealt the death sentence. He was executed by firing squad. As for the fortune teller, he was charged for giving Park the advice and was sentenced to 15 years in a labour camp. He was released in 2006, the same year in which Daily NK obtained the information about the organ harvester. There is another story not far off the coast of North Korea in the country of Japan. In 1991, a serial killer lurks the streets of Hiroshima, targeting and killing four prostitutes over the course of five months. His modus operandi resembles that of Jack the Ripper. If you are interested to know more about the Japanese Jack the Ripper, Hiroaki Hidaka, click here. Thank you for watching.